outreach connection, focusing on topics and issues that reach our communities with the love and the power of Jesus Christ. Hello and welcome again to Outreach Connection. I'm glad that you are joining us uh, today. And uh, just, just uh, want to invite you to join us as we join you with the program that we have today, a very special program. First off, though, I want to read to you out of Isaiah chapter 58. It's verse 12. It's kind of our theme verse here for the Outreach Connection show. It says, And they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. I tell you, I'm always, always find it a pleasure to read the Word of God, the powerful Word of God. I'm Gary Schluckaberry, your host. Going to be with you for the next few minutes here. And, and uh, I want to make one more mention. There's a lot of things going on in our communities at this time of the year as the, as the year wears on. Um, I just want to start off by also mentioning National Wear Across Day. It's going to be on July the 15th. Did it last year, doing it again. And uh, we need to pray for America. That's what this is all about. And uh, because <clears throat> America needs God and we need his help desperately. And so National Wear Cross Day on July the 15th, if you have a cross, it's a Wednesday, just uh, wear a cross on that day. And I tell you, just, just be blessed, and you'll be glad that you did when you did it. Now, I have with me on the program today, I've, I've got, uh, uh, it's all about the uh, blue and white day that the Cathedral Worship Church here in Quincy, Illinois has. I have with me Pastor David, McReynolds, and uh, he is from the church, and they've been doing this uh, program for a few years. It's on May the 17th, and then also with us is Chief Joe Henning, and uh, God bless you for being with us today on the program to be a part of this, because you've been a part of what Cathedral of Worship is doing on this for the last several years. I understand and deputy adam gale thank you for joining us and thank you. and i tell you i was talking to deputy gale here a little bit he works with the children in the schools and educates them and and i, I tell you i'm kind of excited what some of the things that that he'll have to say that he'll be sharing with you also so brother McReynolds, just tell us a little bit how this all got started and uh, how long you've been doing it and and just kind of what the event uh, is about Okay, well, we started uh, about eight years ago, and it uh, it's, takes place during the whole, uh, where our whole month is dedicated to ex-offenders. And so um, we take one uh, Sunday out of the month just to appreciate the uh, law enforcement mm -hmm. and the uh, and fire department and uh, the uh, legislatures of the uh, the state, the city. And now you take a whole month, you said. We take a whole month for ex-offender month, yes. but we have one Sunday that, for yes. Blue okay. and White Sunday. Right. And so, uh, which is uh, May 17th. Mm -hmm. And so we just do and have just an appreciation of, <clears throat> of everything they do for their service and their, and we appreciate the fact that they put their lives on the line for us. Right. And so we just right. wanted to say thank you and it all started with uh, Bishop Warren was in a church, one of our affiliate churches up in uh, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, mm -hmm. and they did the same thing. And so Bishop went up to speak, and, it's, and he said, man, that's a good idea. Yeah. And so when he came back, he kind of incorporated it here with, in Quincy. And we, like I said, we've been doing it for the last eight years. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it kind of helps bridge uh, between the, the law enforcement, fire department, and, and the body of Christ, too, because the kids in there, they, they have a comfortable <clears throat> feeling now with the police and right. the fire department because they see them with us worshiping, and they, they, they put a face on them <clears throat> instead of being like they're them and we're us. And so it kind of bridges that gap. Yeah. And so, yeah. You know, you're bringing a flashback for me from when my son, who is oldest son, who's 40 now, mm -hmm. but we were down in the Dogwood days and they, um, after the parade was over with, there was a big thing in the park, 
he got lost from us. You know how quickly he was like five years old, yeah. maybe six. He got, but you know what he did? He went right to a policeman. Mm -hmm. And they was able to get into the grandstand and said, we have a missing boy. Of course, we were searching frantically. You know how it is mm -hmm. when your child in a crowd oh, yeah. disappears yeah. a little bit. Now, this, of course, like I said, he's 40 years old now, but don't tell him I said that. <laughs> but it has been that many years. The, but the importance of our police uh -huh. work, you know, yeah. and to honor them and yeah. what they do. Yeah. And, uh, um, and I think I, I know Deputy Adam here was talking about, now you go into the schools. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about that because with that flashback comes, you know, what you're doing to make the children know, hey, they can be comfortable around a policeman. Correct. Um, the Sheriff's Department and the uh, local schools and several other schools and Sheriff's Departments do this also, but we go into the schools, uh, we teach programs like D.A.R.E., uh, Drug Abuse mm -hmm. Resistance Education. Um, we have, uh, we build a bond between the children to let them realize like that, that. Yeah. that we don't, we are the police, um, but we're also the good guys. You can come to us if you have problems. Um, you know, the one of my, one thing I always ask the children and is do I arrest bad guys? And most everybody, everybody I talk to says, yeah, you arrest bad guys. And I tell them, no, I don't. I don't arrest bad guys. I arrest people that make bad decisions. Mm -hmm. We all make bad decisions. Um, just because you make a bad decision doesn't make you a bad guy. Yeah. Just means you messed up this time. Awesome. We can learn from it, we can turn around, kind of like you were explaining earlier with the ex-offenders. Mm -hmm. Um, they're ex-offenders. They were a, an offender at one time, yeah. but you know, we learn from our mistakes, and we have to learn from our mistakes, and we have to take that next step forward to to move to move on. And that's one thing I try to instill with the children is, hey, you may make a mistake today, but that doesn't mean we can't turn it around and be something better tomorrow. Yeah. So um, yeah, it, it's really nice being in the schools. It's nice talking to the children. It's, it's nice walking in and seeing the smiles on their faces and yell, come running up yelling at me, Deputy Gale, Deputy Gale, and they'll tell me about their weekends. And it's nice, um, like I said, having that bond with the staff, mm -hmm. the students, and, mm -hmm. and everybody in between. Mm -hmm. And they can take that home. Yeah. And share it with their parents. And, and I hear that on a day-to-day -day basis yeah. uh, when I'm, you know, if I go to the convenience store and get a soda, are you Deputy Gale? And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. And, yeah. oh, my son comes home and he tells me all kinds of stories. And, and That's awesome. It's, it's nice being knowing that I'm going home with them, too. So not only am I making the impact at school, but I'm making the impact on their travels home while at home. They're telling their parents about it. You know, an exciting day. They're telling their they're telling their parents. You know, maybe sitting down at dinner. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm making it there, so yeah, it's right. nice. It continues. It, yeah. it continues, and and that is awesome. <clears throat> and to be able then for a church like this, and you know, other pastors could do the same thing mm -hmm. in their communities. Yeah. Whoever is watching our program out in in other parts of the mm -hmm. of the community or or even the country here, but that other churches could do. The same thing, right, and right, well, right. how did Brother Bishop Warren get a hold of it? Uh -huh. He heard about it and uh -huh. he instituted it to put it in place right. and everything, yes. because to honor our <clears throat> policemen, fire department, with the work that they do, the danger, the well, like the fire department, uh -huh. Chief Henning here, you guys, your guys, you put them on, they're on, put on the line. When they are into major yeah. fires day to day when they go to work. They don't they don't know necessarily what they're going to be encountering. Um, it's no different in law enforcement. Um, you know, one of the particular challenges for firefighters is, in most cases, when somebody picks up the phone and they dial nine one one and they have an emergency. If it's a medical event, they'll dispatch an ambulance. If it's some type of a civil unrest disturbance, they'll call law enforcement, and then everything else goes to the fire department. So. The thing that, that, that's kind of fun about being a firefighter is you just n really never know from day to day what you're going to be doing. One day you'll be fighting a fire, and next day you might be hanging from a rope. Fun? Yeah, yeah, you know, oh, okay. uh, it's a calling, it's a yeah, calling. I know. Uh, but, you know, uh, you know the, the, yeah, I grew up as a Boy Scout. Sure. Spent, I still spent a lot of time in scouting, and yeah. a lot of what we did was, you know, rock climbing and rappelling and things like that. And a lot of those same things are done uh, in firefighting. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and 
the dangerous work, but I just had to play on that sure, a little bit sure, there. Sure. The, the fun, <coughs> well, of course it's fun. I'm sure what, what you do. Because us ministers, mm -hmm. we consider it fun, if you will, yeah. also, you know. And to be able to share the gospel light, mm -hmm. you know, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, um, Chief, you've been coming to their services. Mm -hmm. um, you told me the last several yeah, I've been to a number of them. I did miss last year because of my daughter's graduation. But, uh, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, it's just one of those experiences. It's really an uplifting experience. Um, mm -hmm. It's great to sit there and see people, see people from all across the community uh, getting together, um, sharing a common experience. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, in this day and age when there's so much divisiveness and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, unrest and whatever the case may be, it's just good to know that we can still sit down. Um, with a common goal, yeah. uh, a common experience, and, and just enjoy each other's company and, and yeah. worship. Our, I tell you, we have a, for those who in the audience are watching from outside the community, we have a great community here. Mm -hmm. though. Yes. You know, don't we? Not, not only among the churches, mm -hmm. but um, among our, all of our officials, you right. know, our civil mm -hmm. officials here, that uh, there, there is that, like uh, Deputy Gale said, that there's a bond that you yeah. make with the children. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And the same thing with the, the blue and white event. Uh, I've been to the blue and white event. It's it's nice to be able to showcase law enforcement outside of our everyday duties. And the uh, same with fire. I know it's the same. The the thing is, is I am a father. I am a brother. I am a husband. I am a police officer. And being able to for the community to see us out outside of our day-to-day -day events mm -hmm. of responding to calls, fires, and uh, civil disturbances and everything, they're able to see, you know, we still are under the same God, under the same Lord, and we right. worship like everybody else. Yeah. We're sinners just like everybody else, and, and we're, we're, we're a community. You know, when I don't right. have my badge, my gun on my side, I'm still a part of the community. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's really nice to go there and be, be a part of the community. You know, now, you know, I, I, and I'm liking what you're saying here, with that because I know we have, you know, we all go to church, and but to be able to have, well, come together as one in one church, uh, let the community see, hey, that policeman, that fireman, the chief, you know, they worship God too. You know, they they know the Lord. The Lord also that is uh, to me, of course that's my. Uh, uh, profession, your spiritual yeah. profession here with uh, Pastor David here and everything, but uh, to see, you know, those who in other occupations uh, to be a part from our community. You with know, this. Another aspect of that I had commented that I'm going to be bringing my daughter with me this year. I, I also like the fact that, that, that our families can come along and they get a chance to see the people worship in different ways. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I can say that the, the, yeah. the service at the cathedral worship is very different than sure. the one at our particular church, but you know what? Uh, we all share a common bond and uh, it doesn't matter how we do it Amen. as long as we do it. So. It's the same Lord, Absolutely. the Savior Amen. Jesus Christ Absolutely. Yeah, that, that we worship. That, that is exactly right. Well, that's why there's always, uh, we can get in a rabbit trail here on a whole other subject, but that's why there's a lot of different denominations, mm -hmm. sure. Uh, sure. you know, where we've all been raised differently, right, perhaps, right, right. you know, and, and have, have flown in. So on the, um, on the May the 17th, um, so you have a regular church service? How, how does the service flow for the day? Uh, well, we have, uh, uh, it starts off with the uh, uh, <clears throat> Introduction of the, the the like the police chief and mm -hmm. the, you know fire chief and they say a few words and mm -hmm. but we really we start off with a prayer and we pray for the, uh, uh, the, the all the different departments we pray for the different legislators mm -hmm. the uh, city city government and uh, county government state government we pray for them we pray pray for the president. And, uh, you know, then we have, uh, after that, then we have just a regular church service. Mm -hmm. And then after that, then, you know, the, the legislatures and the, the, the representatives from the fire department, police department, and the prison ministry teams, we go to Bishop's house for a big dinner. Okay. And so we just, you know, make a whole day of it. Okay. And, uh, so, so the prison ministry teams, of course, then, are for the work that they do, they're being honored too. Right, right, yeah. Like I said earlier, the the whole month of May is dedicated to uh, uh, the prison ministry 
work. Mm -hmm. And so that's where it's like our fundraiser month so we can uh, you know, have funds for the whole year because we go into uh, 16 different prisons. Mm -hmm. And so basically we have teams in every, pr I mean in the prisons every week, there's wow. a team in some prison. Yeah. And so we that whole month we kind of say thank you for that and that's where we have the uh, ex-offenders come in and they give their testimony uh, mm -hmm. of when we ministered them when they were incarcerated. And, and so it's like, you know, it's like lift everybody up and, and you know, lets us know that it, the prison ministry is a good thing to get into and we try to recruit into the prison ministry. Right. But like I said, the uh, that one day, that one Sunday a month is when we just appreciate mm -hmm. the blue and white and we appreciate the law enforcement and the, and the fire department and the different legislators and the, uh, the chaplains and the wardens mm -hmm. they, they usually come to and so we just appreciate everything they do the risk that they take and uh, and the lives that 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 you know that they save you know mm -hmm. so we just want to just applaud them and thank them and yeah, just appreciate that's, them. that's 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 for sure now if anybody wants to know anything about this they're welcome to call the church uh -huh. and to get the information or I'm sure you'll have information that you can um, send out Oh yeah, with that. yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll be just call the church, and uh, I know there are some phone numbers, web page mm -hmm. um, on there. Um, Lady yeah. Ellis, uh, yeah, pages. yeah, that's uh, Lady Ellis. She's over the prison ministry. She's mm -hmm. our director, and uh, you know, email her, and she'll give you all the information you need. And um, uh, just you know, we used to ha have things in the paper. Yeah, you know, just broadcast for the whole community to see that that, that Sunday yeah. is special and that they're welcome to come to uh, Sunday service mm -hmm. and worship with us on that day. And you know, the other important thing is too, not to only to honor and show respect for them, but the other thing that I like what you're doing, what we're talking about here mm -hmm. is to pray for our different departments, mm -hmm. you know, for, for um, their protection you know, out there mm -hmm. to be in prayer. Now, there's something special that you do that you told me about, um, Drive at Five. Right, now let's right. talk, let, t tell us a little bit about that because actually what you all are doing, <clears throat> well, I'm gonna let you explain it, I don't okay. go too far. <laughs> okay, we have uh, what we call Drive at Five and that's where we meet at our church at um, uh, 4.45 in the morning on Tuesdays and Thursdays and we uh, pl pray over the whole city. And we have certain routes that we, we travel so we can blanket the whole city. And we pray for uh, our schools, we pray for the police, the fire, we pray for the teens, we pray for the children, and uh, we pray for uh, 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 drug addicts. You know, we pray for, for you know, the, the problems in the community. We pray for that first thing in the morning on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And anybody that's welcome to come at yeah. 445 at Cathedral Worship, you can ride with us and just pray over the city because we believe that that prayer works, you know, and, and we just believe that praying over a city is a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we've seen some changes we've seen that we know came, came from prayer. Sure. And so, we continue. We've been doing that for four and a half years now. now how long is the usually the ride? The uh, ride is usually tops would be 15, 20 minutes because oh, you just okay. have one route that you go. That you go. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. And so enough people we can blanket the whole city. Yeah. But just individually, we just have one route, and then after that you go home. Then it's time for breakfast. Then it's call. time for yeah. breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> With that. Yeah. So you're out there praying. You know. You know what I'm thinking here. I'm thinking you need to have an insignia or something on your car, prayer car, you know, yeah. for the community. Like the police cars and fire trucks are all, you know, we know what they are. Yeah, you know, but well, anyway, we had to get anyway. in contact with the police department to let them know we'll be out. We'll, that we'll be out. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> Going yeah. slow, you know, so yeah. that'll be us out praying in the yeah. morning. Yeah. So that, we had to get that out clear. Yeah. So. That's off. Yeah. awesome. Awesome. Then, um, uh, Chief, you... Um, You've been a part of this for well the last several years and everything, and I like what you're talking about taking your daughter to bring mm -hmm. a family mm -hmm. or let your daughter to have a part of this too. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, one of the reasons is is just 
it's it's such an engaging service. You know, uh, there's a lot of music, a lot of music, and we're a musical yeah. family. Um, you know, I, I have a personal connection. Uh, I did a charity event a couple of years ago with one of the members of the Cathedral of Worship, Coretta Sykes, and oh, yeah. so I get a chance to see her on stage <laughs> performing, and she's a, she's just a wonderful artist, you know. And uh, so it's also fun to have that that personal connection there. But just uh, it's usually a beautiful spring day. You go in in the morning. You sit through a church service, you hear some wonderful music, you go out and you have dinner at the uh, the bishop's house, and you know, what better way to spend a Sunday in May? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. Um, because the flower's out, and mm -hmm. if the dogwoods are still blooming or anything, <laughs> but by then they'll probably be gone. But anyway, then uh, <clears throat> Deputy Adam, um, now you've attended the services too. Yes, sir. Now, you, have you gone by your well no I guess you've gone with other I, I, I went with our department um, the, I've been one time the time I went I was actually on duty working mm -hmm. and it wasn't soon after uh, it had, it had uh, ended that I actually had to respond to a call so I wasn't able to make it to the dinner but I hear that this dinner is phenomenal you're going to, have to mark that I, I'm marking it on my calendar <laughs> I want to get there uh, yeah. I, there's all kinds I've heard there's all kinds of different stuff to eat so yeah uh, I, I, I want to make it back again and it, it is uh, an awesome experience um, and like you had said earlier um, that it's a different type of worship and uh, you know sure. it, it's it's very engaging like you said and I want to I want to get back here again it was it was fun the first time yeah it, it'll be better the second I know it will. well but speaking as preachers worship should be fun oh, yes, you know, know enjoyable yes, 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 and yes. Uh, fun but yet honorable to our God Absolutely. You, yeah. Yeah. you know yeah. to, true uh, true Bless him and everything. Well, also. and I'll just add, it's very clear what our purpose is there. I mean, there, there's worship sure. the entire time and, and the praise that, that's, that's appropriate at that time. And you, you never lose sight of why you're there. Well, yeah, 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 I like that. Right, right. Never lose sight. Um, and it's, I like what you all have said to some of the terms you've used, ex offender. Mm -hmm. I've liked what you've used uh, as I'm. And as I'm thinking the scripture verse that I used on Isaiah 58 and 12, you know, building the old waste places, mm -hmm. you know, and I tell you, you guys in our community, you do a marvelous job. Thank you. you do a, a, a terrific job. And, um, yes. and I know that anybody who's watching <coughs> the program, they certainly can see <clears throat> that, hey, we need to make sure we're praying for our civil officials. You know, and in and, and every area. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I like about it. It's, mm -hmm. it's when they pray, they pray over everybody, the city government, the law enforcement, the EMS, you know, and the yeah. emergency services. There's more than uh, police and fire. I mean, we have the paramedics that are going on these calls that are just as dangerous as anything that's else. That's true. Mm -hmm. um, the yeah. people, the uh, John Simon and the with the weather, uh, you know, they, they go out and look for these tornadoes to keep everybody safe uh, when the bad weather comes in. It's, it's absolutely amazing how um, this blue and white just reaches out to everybody. Um, and it just pulls everybody in together and as a community as we should be. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. And I tell you, it, well, that's what makes a community, mm -hmm. an area, you know, to be able to be safe. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, and and uh, and I we talked a little bit about the show, and I think you had mentioned it, uh, uh, Deputy Adam, a little bit about um, the, a calling. It's not just a job, mm -hmm. you know, or Absolutely. anything I've ever done in my life. And of course, even before I was in the ministry, mm -hmm. you know, I do it as unto the Lord. You guys have a calling. You know, you're not in it for just a job. You know, what you had, had talked about and mentioned. It's a calling, just like we say ministers mm -hmm. are called. Yes. Well, in our profession, it's really probably no different than yours. Mm -hmm. These are the types of professions where you don't see a lot of in and out. You know, you yeah. know there's not a lot of, of turnover. It's because typically when you've identified that this is an area of work you want to go into, you've identified that because there's something inside of you that says right. it's something you want to do. It's an opportunity to give back. Right. So um, the beautiful thing about what we do and what you do is you have that opportunity to give back. You have that opportunity to, to engage and, and spread your message. And it, it's just, yeah. it's an enjoyable thing. If you can't get up and enjoy what you're doing, then 
there's a problem. And uh, to be able to do that and to be able to serve at the same time is, is really a blessing. It's true. It is yeah. true. And you know what we're talking about here? We're talking about peace. We're talking about the peacemaker, too. Yeah. Through all of this, yes. we're talking about Jesus Christ. He is the Prince of Peace. You know, we think of Christmas time, um, joy to the world, you know, peace on earth. This is what we want to see. Right. You know, and, and it, takes, it takes all of us. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it ta and, and once again, we highly respect you guys for what you do and, and, uh, and what you all are doing with yes. the Blue and White Day. That is awesome, Pastor David. And I tell you, let me just share, just, just talking about Jesus Christ, talking about the Prince of Peace here, uh, just for a moment as we come down to the closing moments of the show. And because as a minister and as with Outreach Connection here, one of our efforts is here to reach out and to, or to have an outreach, if you will, for the Lord, that you need the Lord in your life. And if you don't have, if you're watching out there and you've, you've uh, watched the show because of uh, the police officer and, and Chief Henning, the fire department here with us on here, and you said, hey, I want to watch, see, or hear what they have to say, um, to reach out for the Lord Jesus Christ, to know that peace that passes all understanding. And that peace of God will take and guard your heart and your mind. And if you've never done that, can I encourage you to ask for forgiveness of sins. That's how it's worked. We confess our sins. And He, Jesus, Father God, is, will forgive us of our sins. And He will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You know, if you're an offender, you can be an ex-offender through Jesus Christ. That's the way it works. And all you have to do is this, just say it, confess it, and then ask the Lord Jesus Christ, because He's real, He's alive. He, uh, we celebrated Easter not too long ago, or Resurrection Day. He is with us here. He's been with us this whole program right here, and He's right there with you. And you can just say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. Please take control of my life. I want that peace that Gary's talking about. I want that peace that the brothers on the program here, they're talking about. And that's all you have to do. Then, just do it. Talk to God like I'm talking to you. Then get yourself a Bible if you don't have one. This is the real, this is alive, this is the powerful Word of God. God talks to us through the Word. Find yourself a church home right here, brother, a uh, cathedral of worship. You know, and each one of us have different churches that we go to also. Find yourself a church home to fellowship, to be a part of, of that can be, you say, your support group. And this, pray. And as we're coming down to the close, can I ask you, when you start praying, would you do me a favor? Will you pray for America? Will you pray for your community and the leaders in your community? God bless you for joining us. I'm Gary Schluckabeer of Outreach Connection, your host. Glad you watched us. And Brother David, thank you for being with My us. Pleasure. Chief thank Henning, you. appreciate it so much. Deputy Adam, God bless you for being with me thank on you. the show here today. God thank you. Contact us at Outreach Connection, WTJR 222 North 6th Street, Quincy, Illinois 62301. America's Heartland, there's a safe haven for abused, neglected, and at-risk children. This safe haven is called Shiloh Christian Children's Ranch, where we believe that helping children puts you close to the heart of God. The purpose to me of Shiloh is to create a safe and nurturing environment for kids to grow up in. Whether um, the kids are coming from an abusive situation, a neglectful situation, or just coming from a situation where um, for some reason the family is just not functioning the way it needs to. It's